Well, what do we have here? Looks like the biggest ripoff since Webster. Oh, please, Mr. Coleman. We can explain. I'm listening. Your toy company is evil. Well, isn't it possible for an evil company to make people happy? Are you saying the end justifies the means? That's a very glib interpretation. Hey, don't talk to my sister that way. No, Bart, he's right. I did oversimplify. Perhaps, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I think what Lisa meant to say is... And so, Gary Coleman and the Simpsons argued long into the night. And then, as day broke, the spirit of the season entered their hearts. Let's just agree that the commercialization of Christmas is at best a mixed blessing. Amen. In yeah. Amen. Amen. Love. Hey, look out! Yeah! Well, there's something you don't see every Christmas. Hey, it is Christmas. We better get home. Hey, Dad, what do you think of... Um, uh, Mr. Coleman, I've been thinking, uh, my wife always makes too much stuffing and sweet potatoes and all, and oh, heck, would you like to spend Christmas with us? No way. I'm having Christmas at George Clooney's house. Gary. All right, I'll come. And Gary Coleman was as good as his word. As for old Mr. Burns, he was visited by three ghosts during the night and agreed to fund the school with some money he found in his tuxedo pants. Thank you, thank you, humbug. While Mo, seeing what the world would be like if he had never been born, pulled his head out of the oven and replaced it with a plump Christmas goose. Yeah, happy holidays, dear. Merry Christmas, Mo! Uh, listen, I kind of banged up that Jeep in the driveway. What you talking about, Mo? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, everyone?